this is really for, uh, this can be for anybody that's in the program. And I also want to say that it, it's, what I'm going to say here, I'm, first I'm going to explain the why of it before I explain the how. Um, but this is going to form the basis of a study I'm going to be doing with TaylorMade starting in June this year. I'm really looking forward to this. And it relates to how adult learners specifically, um, but everybody generally relates to the, the tool that we play the game with. And TaylorMade are interested in this because they make the tools that we play the game with. And I think that they, uh, they feel that I might have a simpler way to teach golf. And I hope that uh, I can show them that I do. And really what the first part of that study is going to be is, is that the best players in the history of the game have hit the ball the furthest to their right in rotation. And I've said this before, but it, it bears repeating. So the furthest I can point this long lever of club shaft and left arm that all good players basically hit with in a line, the further that this points to my right relative to my torso in rotation, the higher it is on my torso. That's as far right, using both hands as I can stretch it out, that's about shoulder height. That's as far to the right of me as I can point this long lever. Now if I bring it up, you can see that the sweet spot's no longer as far right of me as, as it can be in my center. If I bring it up, it's coming left relative to me. Yeah? And if I drop it down, it's coming left relative to me. So the furthest right I can hit it with this long lever in relation to my torso is shoulder height, roughly. Now, not everybody's the same here. So these champion players throughout the history, they haven't all had the same relationship of long lever, left arm and club shaft to their torso. But I believe that all these great players had it about as far as they could anatomically get it to their right as they hit the ball. So that's really why I want you to work on this, Pradeep, uh, what I'm about to say. And that's going to form the basis of my study uh, with TaylorMade based on the data that they've got in their map system, M-A-T-T. Uh, it's a 3D swing system. And that 3D swing system, they have data of all kinds of tour players that they've had through there, Dustin Johnson, Pat Perez, you know, guys that, guys that are known as pretty good ball strikers, Sergio Garcia. Uh, and then they also have data from the amateurs that have come to their golf kingdom in Carlsbad and been fitted for clubs. So a lot of these amateurs are not the best golfers. Now, the very worst um, strikers, if you like, or the, I, I want to say worst golfers, but that, that pretty much sums it up. The worst golfers hit the ball the most to their left relative to their torso. Now, the dimensions of this torso uh, alignment with the long lever of the left arm are the degree to which the torso is bent over and rotated towards the target at impact. And so, if I rotate from this standing position here down the line, if I rotate as far left as I can with my torso, keeping this long lever just right there, and then I sit down, bend from the waist, and that might be about as far anatomically as I can get my left arm across me. Now if I were to go further away, I could probably get it higher on my torso, but I don't feel that that's a very good, powerful position for me. So if I were to have it as high as, say, a Lee Trevino, by standing further away from it, I could actually get it higher on my torso, which would be further to my right. I wouldn't feel like I have as much velocity or a speed through that plane of action relative to my body. So again, I'm not saying that there's an ideal 
amount here, I just believe that the ideal amount is the most that you can achieve in a, in a position in relation to the ball that feels good to you. Okay? So the very worst golfers, based on that idea of more bent over, more rotated, the very worst golfers, when they strike the ball, they're stood up more and they're squarer with their torso. So when they hit it, a lot of the time, in fact, a lot of the time it's this way. So this, this lever is bent for a start, but it's also not across their body. So they're effectively striking the ball on their left or in their center, rather than over to the right of them. Okay, so I think that that spectrum, the worst strikers, the guys that come over the top the most, stand up like this and hit the ball this way, very square, very erect torso at impact, they're hitting it the least to their right. Okay, so what hitting it the most to your right gives you is not only more power because you're striking it, you're using much more of your leverage and the club is about to begin its greatest acceleration, if there were no collision with the ball, the greatest acceleration, the further you hit it to your right, the greatest acceleration is on this side of the ball. Now the collision does slow down the club head, but absent that collision, the more you hit it to the right, the more you'd be accelerating through here. Okay? The more you hit it to your left, the more it's accelerated here and it might be even slowing down beyond the ball.